Hello, people of the internet! You're probably wondering why I'm in the bathroom! Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to clean a binder. Uh, because I made a video on my TikTok. And some of you guys clearly didn't know how to clean your binder because you guys are like, it's shrinking! And I just need to teach you guys how to clean your binder without it shrinking, okay? Let's get into it. Okay, so first thing first is you're going to want a sink, your binder, laundry detergent, and some bathroom cleaner if you're going to need to clean your sink. I do. I'll be right back. So now that I have that done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the laundry detergent and my binder, and yeah. Alright, is this filming? I think this is. Sorry for the really weird camera angle, I just wanted to get the sink in the shot so you can see that. First thing first is I'm going to fill this with hot water. Now that I've got some warm or hot water, uh, lukewarm or like hot will work, but either or, I'm going to let that sit for a few seconds and I'm going to grab some laundry detergent. really don't need that much for it. There we go. That much. It's nothing that crazy. Just gonna pour that. Let's get nice and soapy. All right. Now that you have that, uh, I'm gonna take my binder and I'm gonna put it right here. Actually, I'm just gonna dunk it in the water. Ooh, hot. Be careful not to burn your hands, like I just did. I am a little silly. All right. Now that we're getting some better temperature water in here. And basically what you do is you're just kind of gonna squish it around, you know, it's not, it's not that hard. You can literally just let it sit in here if you've been wearing it for longer, because I have heard of people who just like deep cleans their binder by letting them sit in here for like an hour to 30 minutes. Personally, I just do this. And then... What I usually do is I just put a little tiny bit of laundry detergent on the finger. If you've got like a white one, I'd be careful doing this because it might stain. And I just kind of scrub it in there for a little bit. Then I apply the water. That's that. And then I rinse this with cold water. And if I'm being really specific and there's any little spots like that that I really just want to wash out, do is I'll take a little bit of laundry detergent, bingo, bango, bongo, kind of scrub it out, and it's gone. What's in the hard? See? You check it for any little spot. I don't know how I always get these little scruff marks when I'm uh, cleaning my binder. Do you guys get any like little marks like that? I don't know. All right, now that we have a silky sexy boy, I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna rinse it one more time. Squeeze it out. And in case you're ever so curious about what binder I use, I use Underworks. Um, another good brand is GC2B, but I use Underworks because I find it more flattening. Okay. Now that we've got that, what I usually do is I just grab a hanger and hang him up for the day and let him air dry for like day, overnight, overnight, whatever. And then I'm done and it's clean. I hope you found this video really helpful. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.